Hey everyone, thanks for joining. We are going through another set of available inventory in Fresno with Nikki and uh, let's welcome her to the show. How you doing, Nikki? I'm doing good. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. I always like having these conversations with you because we look at a whole range of stuff. And mm -hmm. when you really look at Fresno, it's, it's a pretty diverse economy with lots, lots of different options. So uh, let me pull up what you brought us today and uh, okay. we'll go through it. One Sounds second. great. All right. So as always, you are part of a team. You want to talk about that? Sure. Yeah. Uh, that guy right there, that's my husband. His name is James. Both him and I are realtors at Iron Key Real Estate. Um, he also has his own investment company, uh, Next Path Properties. So together, we're a, we're a great team that tackles all dynamics of real estate. It's yeah, real fun together. You are a dynamic duo and, you, a duo and you guys make it work together. So a lot of fun Thank working you. with both of you. Thank so. You. Thank you. It'll Let's see what's Thank first. You. Okay. Here we go. All right. It's the good old Mayfair. So we got a duplex, which is a, a total of three bedrooms, two bath. So we have a two one and then a one one. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just one of the units right now. Um, but it's um, right off of McKinley and Normal. Mm -hmm. um, so you know you have that great location uh, close to Fresno City College. Mm -hmm. um, in both these units, they do have the washer and dryer hookups. Oh, with the, and, and it does mention one car garage um, for each of them, kind of having a hard time seeing where that is exactly, but mm -hmm. that is noted. Um, one of the units did get uh, renovated. And so mm -hmm. I think that second picture right there where you could see the nice flooring and the ceiling fans and the fresh paint, um, that's probably the remodeled one right there. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Uh, does it list uh, rental amounts or are it they does, vacant? Yeah. So the one one they said rents at six hundred dollars a month, mm -hmm. and the two one is at seven fifty a month, which I do think there is room there to increase. Yeah, for sure. This is this is what we're going to start to see. Um, you know, as as landlords who have not raised rents, um, you know, to market because market for a two one, assuming the two one is the nice remodeled unit, and again, that's just mm -hmm. an assumption. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's more like um, shoot 850 875 and if it's a real garage you know which is maybe on the right side going down right. uh, it really could even be 900 right if it's a legit yep. legit garage so um, and then the mm -hmm. one is probably like the one's probably 750 uh, with the garage so um, yeah some room to raise rents but um, mm -hmm. you know with rental control rent control now and 5% max plus inflation or you give notice these are things that um, you know landlords with value add properties are going to have to to think about, and frankly, why I would probably offer less than asking price on this one. Mm -hmm. that, that would be my negotiating stance. But yeah, yeah, and and I've owned stuff in the Mayfair. The first house I ever bought was in the Mayfair. It was on Norris Drive. I owned a duplex on Mayfair. I've owned something on uh, Normal. Uh, you know, a bunch of stuff in that uh, Mayfair district. We have owned and frankly still own. So uh, I know yeah. it well. Yeah, it's a good place to rent out. Yep, cool. All right. Oh, I know this one. <laughs> cool. Calaveras. Uh -oh, we... nope. Yes. Okay, so here we do have another duplex. They each have their own electric and gas meters, which we all know is nice that we mm -hmm. just talked about. Um, so this front uh, first picture, it looks like with that palm tree there, mm -hmm. um, that's the main house there. That is the, it has three bedrooms, one bath. And then the um, two pictures on right directly below it is just pictures of the inside of that house. You see the kitchen and bath. Yep. Um, and then there is a one bedroom, one bath detached that you could see um, on the bigger picture on the right. Mm -hmm. And then below those pictures are um, the kitchen and the bath in there as well. Um, as we see, it's listed at one seventy nine nine. Mm -hmm. uh, they do have uh, the rental pricing on here for the three one currently at eight hundred and fifty a month. Mm. Um, the one in the back is um, vacant right now, but I was guessing maybe around seven hundred a month. Yeah both room to grow yeah certainly both room to grow the one on the right uh looks like it's been updated again the picture is kind of small and my eyes yeah. are old but yeah it looks looks nice it is uh, definitely newer yes 
And then the one on the left, um, just, it looks well taken care of. Um, you know, those mm -hmm. kitchen mismatch of kitchen cabinets, kind of a red color in the kitchen is odd. At least it looks like yeah. it's red. But, um, you know, these are, these are just traditional houses. They were probably, what was, does it list what year this was built? Like 1910, 1920? 1930. 1930. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. it makes sense. Uh, yeah. Two meters is very helpful. That means you don't have to split electricity or uh, gas bills. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I own a lot of stuff in and around uh, Calaveras. So it, is it really a duplex or does it say it's a triplex? Um, they listed it um, as the duplex because, uh, yeah, it's listed as the duplex. Okay. All right. I'm thinking of a different house that was listed as a triplex. Okay. Okay. Yep, because there's, yeah, that's fine. So this is legit two houses, one lot. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, in re and I'm guessing street parking because I think back in the 1930s, that shed on the left was quote unquote parking, which wouldn't work today. Right, yeah, they did make a little carport area that you could park at, otherwise okay. street parking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, that's it's pretty common for that part of town. Yeah, in reality, I think you can get a thousand bucks for a three one, uh, yeah. you know, and then for a one one house, assuming you have a little privacy with yard, Mm -hmm. A one one house could go for eight hundred, maybe even eight fifty. And again, split electricity and gas is a huge plus. So mm -hmm. uh, definitely, this one could be a one percent rule. Yeah, um, you know, which is hard to find these days. So that's a, that's a that's a nice deal. And uh, call Nikki if you're interested in that one. <laughs> Next up. Okay. El okay, Sol, so we're the back sun. To Yes. Yeah. We have right here. Um, this is located in the Fig Garden Loop area. I love this area. Um, it is a three bedroom, two bath home, uh, four or 1,428 square feet. Uh, it is built in 1981. So it's a little older, but they have made some renovations to make it more updated. And you could see in the kitchen, they mm -hmm. updated the cabinets and countertops and um, kept, kept the home maintained pretty well, and it's on a nice large corner lot in a great mm -hmm. location. Um, for and at this price point, um, it's it's a good find to to really want to look at. Does it have an HOA? Is it like part of a master plan community? This one does not have an HOA, which is nice. Nice, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yes. Yeah, you're probably what fifteen hundred for a three two in this area, roughly. I would yes. guess. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Pretty so, nice. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, I like the nice updated kitchen. That, right. That, that would rent yeah. all day long. Yeah. That's right. really quick one. Ooh, I like this one, Vassar. I like this 704 stuff. Yeah. Every house is different. I like I like this area. I know. It has so much charm. Um, every house is different. And um, I can drive through this area all day and just yeah. ooh and awe at all these homes. So me too. So yeah, this is a great, great home. Um, it is a three bedroom, two bath home, 1,246 square feet. Um, it's really close to Fresno High. Your cross streets are Clinton and Palm, mm. which is, you know, what, a few minutes away from the hub too. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's really good. So, uh, buy this home guys and you can walk to the hub and come visit anytime. There you go. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, look, it's, it's got so much charm. Um, it also does have some kind of basement to it. Oh. Um, yeah, that's, it's, you just gotta, um, check that out though. Make sure it's, um. I don't think it's finished or anything, but yeah, it's, it's so. in there. Yeah. yeah. You can definitely tell somebody took care of it. I mean, the way they did the two-tone paint in there and yeah. that little cubby out above the fireplace is really nice. I can't tell the floor. I'm guessing that's carpet. It does look like carpet. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. And then there's probably a rear garage given the driveway on the left. Right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. A detached one. Very, yeah. Very common to have detached. And again, a three, two. Yes. Yeah, you'd easily get, whoosh, you can get maybe even 1600 here because of the area, but certainly $1,500. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely. It's, it's moving ready. You don't really need to do anything to it. Yep. I like it. Gorgeous. Yeah. Crescent Lane. Okay. So today we have a Madeira home. I, I like Madeira. Um, this, yeah, this is a really cool community. It's actually very close to Fresno if you're just on the 41. Mm. Um, you just head up maybe like five minutes out of Fresno and it's this new newer community called Riverstone. Um, this actually was a Lennar model. Oh. So they have tons of updates in here. It's um, built in 2018, four bedroom, two bath home, 2000 square feet. 
you could see there is a solar. Um, it is leased, so have to look into that. Um, but you got your synthetic lawn, your nice flooring, your granite countertops, pretty much brand new home. Yeah, yeah. You like those model legacy model homes built in 18, so it's really new. Um, Going to come with a warranty, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, so uh, everything's know. energy efficient. Yeah, and, and um, Ma yeah, Madeira for the folks in the Bay Area is like San Jose to Mountain View. It's it's literally just down a freeway, so it's it's really close. I like it. It's a little it's a little slower paced. You feel it also also has more of a community vibe because it's it is a smaller area. So I'm a huge fan of Madeira. Mm -hmm. I have plenty of rentals there, and and they stay rented. So uh, I really yeah. nothing nothing of this quality though. Let's be clear, <laughs> not a four hundred thousand dollar rental. That's for sure. But I like this, yeah. I like the city. Yeah, this house. is really good. It it is in an HOA though, um, but it's it's not too bad. It's one hundred and twenty four dollars a month. Yeah, and then it, you know it has the community pool and everything, so you get a lot for your HOA. And again, if you're looking to move to the area, this would be a house to look at because just just imagine what you would like for four hundred grand. You can't even get a studio out here, so uh, pretty pretty cool yeah. what you can get in Madeira. Yeah. Uh, all right, Clovis. Okay, so um, we have a new construction home. So these are just kind of samples of the home. It's not the actual one, um, but this one uh, is listed at 4577, which is a three bedroom, two bath home, 1900 square feet. Um, this is a de young home. Hmm. So um, in here, every, they you know definitely brag about their energy efficient home. Um, it's definitely worth checking out. Um, everything's new again, you get your updated countertops and flooring and cabinetry and um, your windows are all energy efficient. So this is, this is definitely something to look into. Um, they do have a um, zero down 20 year solar lease mm. that you can look into. You definitely have the option of purchasing it as well. Mm -hmm. um, but in this area, you know, you have great schools, this Clovis area, you are in Buchanan high school, school district. Nice. Yeah. No HOAs. So that's really great too. Yeah. Um, good fun community to, to be in. Yeah. And again, if you're moving to the area and you have the, the abilities, you're going to want to be in Clovis. And uh, you know, if you, uh, if you like a new construction, this is just a sample, but definitely call Nikki to review your options. It's uh, it's a gorgeous area uh, and she can show you around. Yeah. Oh, oh, the million dollar home with a, a week. Yes. Yep. Our million dollar a week home. Uh, this one is a four bedroom, four bath, custom built home. Um, it's a uh, 4,000 square feet listed at 1.25. Wow. It was built in 2006, um, but it, it looks like it was just recently built. The, the previous owners really took care of this house and it's just great design features. Um, well built in a location that also has other custom homes. In the area, um, you're close to the country clubs, you're golfing, you know, it's, it's an incredible place area to be in. Um, and then in this home specifically, you know, they didn't miss anything. They have their Viking appliances. Mm -hmm. um, they have the, the layout is beautiful where they have an isolated bedroom for guests. Um, yeah, so the layout's really great. You got your pool that's uh, fenced up for safety. Mm -hmm. So they, they thought of everything in this home. Yeah, and again, if you live in the Bay Area, Southern California, or some high-priced areas, uh, this is embarrassing, right? 1.25 for this gorgeous custom-built home is significantly less than the ridiculously small condo I live in in Mountain View, California. So uh, your bang for the buck uh, in the Central Valley is outstanding. And um, just imagine what you could live in if you wanted to, to move and transfer there. And again, if you are, reach out to Nikki because she can help show you this and others as well. Yeah. Yep. Oh, looks like it. That was a fun one. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yep. Yep. So Nikki, thank you very much for doing this. It's always fun. You bring us stuff as rental quality on one side and all the way up. I love the, I love always closing on the million dollar homes because you know yeah. there's somebody looking at this going, I want to see the million dollar home. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know, these homes make me smile. So <laughs> I, I really enjoy those million dollar homes as well. You know, it's it's a they're great to walk through and just picture yourself living it there. And at that price point, it, it's amazing. 
You got to talk to James. You just kneel him a little bit. James, just, here you go. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> All right, Nikki, have a great, uh, have a great day. And if I don't Thank talk to you, you, we'll talk next Monday. Definitely. All right. Thanks.